hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today in London. We have a few things to do, but more important than anything else right now, we have to write the sixth canto of the next song of the sky. Your writing will need to be novel and enticing if you hope to delight the more experienced palates of London. And I'm gonna write about how I betrayed London and uh, the fact that they are very mad at me. They're they're very upset at me. So uh, let's see what where this goes. The city bustles outside your window, paying you very little mind. It's liberating somehow to be in a city where you're relatively unknown. In New Winchester, the weight of expectation was crushing. Here, the indifference feels like freedom. And you have a momentous adventure to write about? I do indeed. And I'm gonna make a choice, I think. As you contemplate the blank page, awaiting inspiration, you realize that throughout the course of the songs you're, the song you're written, or you have written, of your crew only when necessary. Perhaps now is the time to tell their story in more detail, or are they just going to remain your supporting cast? You know what? I'm not gonna burden them, burden them with the hey, ire of London. Uh, my crew are supporting characters, but they, they are certainly a colorful backdrop to your exploits. You have a paying audience, some of whom are frighteningly obsessed, and they're not going to be happy if you start devoting valuable page space to people who aren't you. Better to play it safe. And besides, you are your own best inspiration. A moment of hesitation and then a dam bursts in your mind. Words flood the page and carry you forward in an irresistible current until you are flung into an ending as though dashed upon rocks. The result is rushed and imperfect. Grimly, you go back. You look, uh, you knock the story down and rebuild it, brick by painstaking brick, working with the nihilist fury of a master blacksmith forging his own guillotine. Finally, just as you are ready to throw your entire manuscript into the fire, you realize that you no longer need to. There's nothing left to fix. The sixth canto is complete. The omnivorous publisher sends a lackey to collect your manuscript. The publisher is... Oh! The assistant is saying, the publisher is attending some very important parties promoting your work, and they tuck the sixth manuscript, or the sixth canto, beneath her arm without reading it. He sends his apologies. I'm gonna, uh, gonna investigate the publisher's office. You haven't heard any word of the canto's publication. You haven't been abducted by the publisher for another book tour. Has something gone wrong? Hopefully not. As you approach the publisher's London office, you spot a thin plume of smoke. It's a charred ruin. Oh. That... Hmm. You ask one of the surrounding policemen what happened. We come to close the place down by order of the Ministry of Public Decency. Publication of subversive materials, you see? The constable waves something that you recognize as the sixth canto. When we got here, the publisher fought back. Gunfire was exchanged who said he'd burn the place to the ground before he paid taxes, which was funny, because we weren't there for taxes. What happened to him? The constable shrugs. On the run. We'll find him. Uh, I suppose you will. I can set up an underground printing press for the Song of the Sky. I need to pay for it, though. Three thousand? That's not a problem. I have... I'm loaded. I'm good. Uh, it's, this is getting costing me my, my, all my savings. It's fine. You hire some assistants of dubious character, buy your own printing press, and make a few well-judged bribes. Once the press is up and running in an abandoned warehouse, you start... Maybe I'm going to get a lot of money out of that. I don't know. Because now I'm getting the proper benefits. Um, and also, there's, there's, there's drama in the sky. In the sky? In the air. Um, once the press is up and running in an abandoned warehouse, you start distributing copies of the sixth canto for free. Okay, well, that's a different story then. The paper is thin as tissue, and the ink smudges at a touch, but it spreads across London like a particularly virulent plague. The controversy only heightens interest. Yeah, soon the sixth canto is so universally popular, from working men's clubs to factory floors, that the ministry is forced to admit defeat, then lift the ban to avoid further embarrassment. The Song of the Sky looms in your mind, a half-finished monument. I can't... Oh, it's the final canto! Ooh, we got things. Okay, I got my notebook here. And, uh, even though I need to move things around to write anything down. So I need three savage secrets we need, which we have. Visions of Heavens, which we have. Otherworldly artifacts, we have that too. 
Uh, moments of inspiration. We have two, and we need two, and we also have unlicensed charts. We need two, and we have three. I need a captivating treasure. I don't know where to get that. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. I have no idea where <laughs> where that's gonna go. But we need that, so well, we'll figure it out. The signalman in London. So we have a fatalistic signalman over here that uh, had something to do over here, or is working here. Let's find out. Yep, I believe is here. The single man is in a shabby little consulting office near the station. Decades out of fashion. Yeah, uh, so I can pick the single man up and I, it's, it's something for me. He's loitering with intent beside the station. He looks more miserable than ever. Oh, this is advancing, isn't it? Ministry's gratitude is now... I have five. Hmm. The single man is in a state of distress. They told me they're taking everything. I said under, uh, they're taking everything I said under serious advisement. Focus on better management practices, improve efficiencies. He shakes his head. I don't think they listened to anything I said, but they were very happy. I mentioned your name. Uh, the signalman is in it. Okay, well, uh, I can take him. So, that concludes a mission, I think. London for the fatalistic signalman is what I wrote. Maybe that concludes a mission. Uh, let's pick him up. Let's pick him up. So I can direct him to get these things, the cryptic benefactors. Yeah, so it's pretty good. We got a little bit of gratitude by the ministry, which is, I suppose, nice. He seems even less happy here. Yeah, let's pick him up. He sighs when he sees you. It is possibly a sigh of relief. Yes, it is time I was off again, he informs you. I need to be back among the hollows of the stars and the howl of the terrible winds. I'm never content these days unless I'm sat in front of a fragile window looking out over some turbulent abyss. He seems he it seems he might be pleased to see you. Okay, well, that's good news. Uh, also, we, we might want him. So got hearts and veals, his mirrors and veals. Uh, I believe... I'm good. Eh, it's fine. I don't think... Well, it's it's the affiliation that... Oh, gloomy Guidance, though. It's giving me Bohemia affiliation. I think I have a few already. So let's... Um, oh, he might have a mission for me. Let's assign him. I didn't assign the Quartermaster. I'm very smart. I'm very good and uh, know exactly all I'm doing. Good, 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 good. Oh, man, this... Blemigian Voyager, or Blemigan Voyager, or whatever. It's really good. Uh, his mustache is stained with nicotine. Yes, he smokes a lot. His Eisenbart line uniform is neatly pressed. Uh, but we have heard of that already. What was his request again? He mentioned something. Yeah, he needed to come to London. I think that's the mission that I am doing. When we next stop at London, I'd like to take shore leave. It's time I spoke to the squire. Who is that, you ask? A purveyor of follies? He responds obliquely. Okay, well, the princess, the princess is also here, and also I think she specifically wants to do something here, I'm not really sure. So I can search for a saloon or salon and get the success there, and uh, basically I can give things, I'll gain a, con no, I can get things, take in the saloon, you will gain a moment, moment of inspiration. This option may only be taken once per visit, for afterwards the salon will, the sal the salon will close. Yeah, but can I take her back? I'll take the moment of inspiration. Ooh, <laughs> this is bad. Did I do that before? I think I did that. I gained uh, terror. What could be more pleasant than an afternoon spent in London's most exclusive salon? The wine is rich, the honey flows, you do not remember the conversation, you do remember the vial, the scream as the bow bit the string and the resinous, resonant melodies it conjured, and the melodies. The strings were not catgut. The princess did not speak, the lords and ladies drank and cavorted. You remember the feel of velvet on your flesh, the taste of wine red and thick upon your tongue. You do not remember what went on beyond the door behind the chair. You find yourself back on your engine. The salon has closed for now. Okay, well, I got an extra moment of inspiration, which is important because I, I needed two for my ambition. And I had two, so let's see. Yeah, so we can't do anything else 
for the moment. That's fine. That's fine. The Silken Salon. The generous princess manages many affairs at the court. Yes, and I can share my sa Salon stewed gossip for a little bit of money, uh, which I believe... Oh, I didn't write this down, though. This is, uh... Because I wrote down about all the things that I could do in the Reach, but now I have, um... I have... Um, things here in London. So, we get experience and money. Man. Royal Dispensation. I can donate a Royal Dispensation if I ha I don't even know what the Dispensation is. Um, I'm gonna write down experience and, um, and money. <laughs> Which is very much what we get in London at the moment, uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't note down all the things that we could get. So I, for for uh, future, uh, for the sake of the future, I'll I'll keep that in mind. Uh, but that's basically it. I can repair my locomotive, fully repair, which costs a little bit of money. And that's not a big deal. Uh, that's back over here. I also have the stalwart bookkeeper. He occupies a tiny smoky office. I remember liking his voice. I forgot his voice. Uh, and, uh, yeah, because he's, he's a different... He's a different... You need the new street line gratitude for or more. Yeah, the new street, street line, that's the thing. And I can chat with him. Oh, he's the guy that I give my book reports to, I think. Isn't he? You unlock this by not having any... Al yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this, that's, that's what it is. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go out into the wilderness and, and see. Macquarie's Tobacco Shop. I am trying to remember what happens over here. I don't think anything happens at the moment. Of course, all of that has been thoroughly gotten, so I think we're going to be okay. And uh, we have supplies. We're going to be fine on that, I think, hopefully. Uh, we have all of these as well, all taken care of. And we have our mm, all worse machines and of course the bank okay so we're carrying things because of our because of this stuff so we need to go to where is that east yeah northwest of london there's a lot of places that i need to go to and this one is uh the avid horizon lies north northeast of london and that's three more of these i don't have that many of them but uh we'll 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 do that and we'll we'll be okay Okay, so one thing I want to check on is just make sure that everybody in here has, uh, yeah. So there's this one, uh, Gord of Chorister Nectar. I think I don't need to do this. Your knowledge of the clay choirs is limited. I think I don't need to do this, but I'll do it. So I need to go into the bank, explore, get one of these, get that do this. This will reduce terror. This is irreversible. Consider waiting until your hold isn't your hold isn't full, lest you be overburdened by needing to store anything it leaves behind. No, no. No. That's not what I want to do. Also, you don't need to have that. You just need to be in a place where you can st you need to be in New Winchester or London, so that basically you can store all the things. Let's attempt the, cl uh, the clay singing again, I think. The clay instructor... Why, why couldn't I do this before? Because I think I did it, did, it, did it before. The clay instructor wishes a singing partner. You've heard a couple of examples. Perhaps you could give it a try. Mixed with sugar and water, the nectar's taste is almost worth the wrist-wrenching labor. You gargle it just as you saw the clay conductor do. Your throat feels as though it has expanded. Your vocal range has widened. You can project further. Your voice is richer and more resonant. The practice is exhausting. Your vocal cords throb with the low notes and trill with the high. You sing of the rock and shale, the areas of quarrying labor and the living clay. It's passable, but not there yet. But more practice will surely make perfect. Okay, so that's what... Oh, no, I'm using the moment of inspiration. Ah, dang it. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Okay, so I think what happens here with the London for Fatalistic Signalman, that's basically their last mission. Because the... the 
He doesn't say anything else, does he? Yeah, he just wants to go to London. But I leave him there and then he's upset. Uh, which is because of all the things. How, ask how he came to work on the Isabar line. I think I did that already and there's nothing new. And he has a suggestion. Oh, yeah. He's been loitering outside your cabin, waiting for his chance. He intimates that he might be able to put his old connect... No, 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 no. That's a different one. Then how do I do that? Huh. Maybe I need to go back into... Not there. Into Explore London. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. Because I didn't do it before because he wasn't with me. So I'm going to allow the signalman to curry favor with London's elite. He has expressed interest in doing some work in London for you. He will leave the engine and pick him up again at any time. Is that how? Is that how it works? It says at any time. I don't know that it is at any time. I think that's basically the same thing, which means that uh, I don't need to have his quest marked as a thing I need to do. So we're going to be okay. Anyway, we're leaving and we're going east to the floating parliament. Uh, there's also the Brabazon work world. Uh, there's also this, which I should... No, I need to go to Wit and Vinegar, of course. Yeah. And also, I need to charge what you saw last episode. Oh, I can continue going. Okay, let's see what happens. Full steam ahead. Oh, no. Oh, no. That does a little bit more damage. Pipes and gantry snake through the smog. A web of iron. Yeah, that's dangerous as hell. Fortunately, I'm very good at it. You can't... You, I couldn't do the sideways thing when you're in that mode. Ha! <laughs> well, and our, our terror doesn't go down when we're in that mode either. Let's, which I assume is, would be the opposite, actually. It would go up. So the head offices of a lumber cons uh, of a lumber concern that imports bronze wood from the Reach. The Wheat and Vinegar Lumber Company operates primarily in the Reach, mining bronze wood and transporting it back to London for construction, furniture, and locomotive plating. Its loading platform is frequented by brawny, wind-bitten men, lugging slabs of bronze wood into the warehouse. I can greet the workers, and there's a shop over here. Ooh! There's prospects? Seven trunks of illicit liter literature to Alkis. I don't know what Alkis is. I do need to go there. And I can go to New Winchester. There's no bargains here. I, I, I'm not going to do it. What? Trunks of illicit literature. You can buy it over here. And that's contraband. I assume that's what it, that I means. Concealed cavities? That's... It's not cavities in your teeth, I don't think. Otherwise, they would... I mean, they could be concealed if they're, like, in between the teeth. And also, I have hiccups. I'm sorry. Hidden spaces in the hull, which the revenue men might overlook. Aha. Uh -huh. And it's only two, though. It's really... It's, it's very tiny. So I could get it for a little bit of money. You know what? I'm going to get it. And I will do that right there. Oh, yeah. And I'll get two. And uh, we're going to... Oh, we can sell things as well. For, oh, contraband. You have acquired your first contraband. Highly illegal items that might be... Or that it would be best not to be found with. Contraband has some very profitable uses. But it would be safest to just set, jettison it if you haven't discovered them yet. In particular... Be careful taking it through transit relays. Most of them do custom checks. Um, yeah. Yeah, customs check. Uh, it, it, I figured. Wit and vinegar over here. Uh, is that the one? What am I carrying? What type, what type of that? Type of slot is that? It doesn't say the type of slot? No, because it's selling. Right. Buying. Yeah, what is it? It's a... A lightning slot. So this gives me 
mining. And this gives me butchery. Yeah, we need those. We need those those for sure. Oh wait, the this this is not extra. This is just Okay, I see. I see. I'm good. I understand, I think. Um so let's see. We are gonna get this. And we're gonna go to Alcus as soon as possible, because I wanna see what that is. Unfortunately it's seven trunks of illicit literature, so I'm gonna need to go back and forth quite a lot, but they, they these are expensive, so I think I'll I'll be quite okay. Let's greet the workers. Uh, say hi. You're accepted here now. They return your greeting with an invite uh, and invite you into the warehouse. The warehouse smells of sawed wood and the hot metal of busy saw blades. Timber is stacked in bronzy piles. A number of the workers, laughing in rough voices, are sharing a bottle of whiskey. They invite you to join them and tell tales of smuggled contraband and the devil that is the revenue man. And it said something about I can peruse my things. Did, couldn't I do that already? I think I could. I can do that again. Can peruse the variable smuggling. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's visit the gloomy middleman's employer. The wit and vinegar company is owned by a blind bruiser. He keeps an office above the warehouse. The wit and vinegar's owner is, you hear, a self-made man of murky provenance. He awaits you in a comfortable office. His suit is well made, but he seems c uncomfortable in it, pulling persistently at its collar. Rings blaze on his fingers. His letter opener could be used to cut through a jungle. <laughs> uh, and I can catch up on old times, although I can't. Um, oh, I need to have high nightmares for that. It will reduce my nightmares. This is important. This is super important. So, uh, wit and vinegar. I wonder what that is a reference to. I don't know what vinegar is associated with. Apart from Satan! S I hate vinegar. It's just... I hate it. Uh, nightmares. So, we reduce nightmares, but we also need... The blind bruiser as a past mentor. Eh, it'll be fine. I'm gonna make his acquaintance. He shakes his hand... Or, shakes my hand. Ah, doctor. It's immediately apparent that my fat Odin did not exaggerate your virtues. Why, I've never known him to be so effusive. Giddy he was, like as a bony child upon Christmas morning. Bony or a bonny? I don't know. Allow me to furnish you with your libation of choice. He keeps a Comprehensive drinks cabinet. After you have both drunk, he speaks again. Now that you are friends, that we are friends, I have a question. Have you considered a career? He pauses dramatically. I in smuggling. The fortune. The excitement. The romance. One step behind glory and one head of the law. An hero to the undertrodden and a plague upon the revenue men. Or perhaps you are a person of pragmatism and such whimsies old no allure. In which case, you, my dearest, I ask only this. How do you feel about money? Uh, well, I guess he's making an offer I can't refuse. The Wait and your Company owner... Yeah, that's that. I'm gonna ask how to become a smuggler. I think that's his saying. A, pers a pertinent question. Very pertinent indeed, if you'll permit me to observe so. And I trust that you will, as being bound as we are by bounds of mutual admiration and respect. All that is required, if I may be so immodest, is a word for me in the right ears. I have already taken the liberty to conveying that word and opportunities to procure and supply contraband will now be made available to you. In fact, there's a juicy little opportunity waiting already to carry a consignment of materials from London to Pan. I would encourage you to snap it up. I'm sure you have further questions. Being as precarious as you is, I will strive to answer them. I think I... I'm doing a terrible job of the Cockney accent, but I think I got him right. When I, when I tried to go for the Cockney accent. I'm terrible. I'm messy. Specifically, I'm, I notice 
I'm 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 sure I'm missing a lot of more things, but I noticed specifically the THs, uh, which are basically two different sounds in Cockney, as far as I can tell, which is the V sound and the Fi sound, the V or the F, and never the Th, and I'm saying Th a lot because I can't decide which one it is. You can say Vem, it's Fem, uh, in in Cockney, but anyway, um, the, so I'm gonna learn about smuggling. Let's do this. The blind bruiser reclines in his chair. His ringed fingers fidget with his glass of port with the ledgers on his desk with his alarming letter opener. Oh, his alarming letter opener, is it? Mm. Uh, I'm going to ask about finding smuggling opportunities. Oh, maybe I'm going to be able to find smuggling opportunities everywhere. I wonder. The nature of our business is naturally clandestine. clandestine. It's likely the opportunities have gone unnoticed by you before now. A situation happily remedied. Remedied, he says. Trust it as you now are. You'll be able to bring to find prospects here at London. In Eulatheria, you'll be you'll need to visit the gentleman at Pan. That's I suppose Eulatheria is the map. Then Pan is the city. Hmm. And in the reach, you want to Titania. The midnight rose, with whom you have already established an acquaintance. See to matters there. You can buy and sell contraband at each of these places. I should warn you, though. It's not as straightforward a business. It's not unusual for our runs to be plagued by complications. Fiercest and foremost among them, of course, being the re revenue men. I wonder if this is just tax people and just revenue for the government or something. Find smuggling prospects in London, Pan, and Titania. You can... So Titania would be in the reach. You can purchase the contraband you need to transport at those locations too. Which would make sense. Uh, I have other places to go, but, well, I guess I have that. Only two hidden. Only two hidden. This is going to be awful. Anyway, um, we're, we're going to figure it out. Maybe it's going to be fine. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Ask about the types of contraband that, you're tr that are traded. Most region have a particular specialty they export, exempting that the Blue Kingdom, of course. We have no business there, nor should we, in my opinion. The Reach exports its red honey, what unlocks the chambers of the art. Here in Albion, thanks to minis the Ministry, our chief contraband is literature. Anything uncensored or revolutionary or what contains a bit of... As you like it, he leers. In pen, they make shinny, starshine. Light is was cast by stars that could be seen from old earth. Nostalgia is a, a reliable vice in my experience. The more contraband you carry, the harder it'll be to conceal. A good smuggler installs hidden compartments in their locomotive to hide as much as they can. That means buying the right equipment. I will. I will buy the right equipment I did. I will. But we're out of time for the day, so we'll have... I did already buy the equipment. So, yeah, that's going to be that for right now. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.